so these are my old clothes and uh, i basically was planning to throw them off till someone gave me an idea of making a rug out of them otherwise it would either go for cleaning or as i said in the dustbin so let's begin with making the rug so i'm going to remove all the hard portions of the clothes like you know the elastic area or if it's a t-shirt the collar area so all these portions are removed and most important see that it is cotton or a non-slipping material because when you make a rug basically when someone stamps over it they should not slip off as you can see here the material that i have i have folded it and made it in a smaller size and now i'm going to cut it in sections like this like basically i will get a long strand if i open up the fold so the reason of making this fold was only so that i wouldn't have longer length to cut through i could cut it short so in this way i could finish off faster with all the cutting so this is just a forward so that we don't waste time over here this is how much strips have been collected after cutting off everything so when you pull if it's a stretchable material it will look something like this so i'm going to take three of different colors tie a knot on the top of it and simply start braiding it towards how much the length is i will start braiding it now your biggest question is how to attach the other strips to the end portion very simple it is fold the strip in this way at the end portion like this and at the center make a cut in this way a small cut not a big one and then on the new piece of strip which you will attach you have to fold it in the same way on one of the ends and then make a cut there you go and once the cut is made you have to attach this new strip to the old strip so the old one will be back side and the new one in front and all you have to do is the bottom portion i have kept my finger to let you know that there is gap where we have to pass this bottom portion from the back towards the front of the hole holding both the strips together i will pull that strand out and then pull it together there and a knot is formed and your strip is attached if needed then please do adjust the attachment like i did just now and then this is how you will continue braiding and this is all the braiding material that i have got after all that hard work i will roll this up to make my life easier and then i will start to stitch it now this needle is long if you'll have shorter one it will work however longer is better for it to go through a lot of strands in one time so let's begin i'm just tying on knot before we begin so the knotted portion of that braided strand the colored one that i have all i will do is i will start combining it together in a circular form so i'll attach it like this and then i'll start by stitching it now if you have a sieving machine and you are wondering that you can do this in a sieving machine let me tell you my sieving machine needle broke by trying to do that stunt so please do not do something like that so basically uh, if it is thick like what i found it open it up and then pass the needle through in this way so ensure your not the first one is combined well and if you notice the strand that i am turning is not showing the plait upwards the braid upwards it's showing it sideways 
so in this way what will happen is it will give me enough gap to pass my needle through and it will be easier to turn this uh, rug that I'm making or the mat that I'm making this mat will be circular in shape this is the shape that I want to do so once you turn it and the needle you have passed through you will pass it through the next turn once you have passed the needle to two or three rounds of that braided strand then you will ensure that you stitch those two or three strands that you have circled in this way all throughout the circle meaning you will from the start till the end portion you will pass stitches so that it does not open up easily now some of you all might want to do this in a later stage so let me tell you all in that what will happen is all that braided rounds that you have taken might open up or might not stay together and most importantly when you make these rounds please do not pull the braid see that you just turn it off normally without stretching the uh, st braided strand that you have because in that case what will happen now is if it's tightened up it might overlap each other so i'm going to keep on turning like this pass my needle through that portion that i have and then stitch it on those two or three circles that i have formed remember when you are turning these braid they might get twisted so you will have to ensure to straighten them up before passing a stitch through it else they will look very disorganized on your rug or your mat some might look straight some might look you know crooked they might not give a good look so far the mat or the rug is looking very beautiful now as you can see i am passing my needle inwards that's why i'm holding on to those three or four strands that i have braided into a circle and attaching it with the inner one which i have already stitched you'll have to keep doing this otherwise you'll get different sections of those uh, circular strands that you have made remember thicker the strand a little uh, difficult will be the needle to pass through so ensure that the needle is sharp enough and mind your fingers as always now you can make use of um, the fabric glue however it's going to take time because by the time the fabric glue sets and you will take the next turn it might take lot of time and then eventually as time passes by it might even come off because you will be using it for wiping your foot so you know the strands could loosen up if you just use fabric glue stitching is the best process however if you all are interested in another video where you want something making a rug without stitching do let me know in the comments and i will try to post a video for making a rug without stitching so so far this is the way the rug looks now very important we are at the end circle of the rug and let me tell you whenever you make knots ensure that the knot you have made is between the circles like this and not on the outer end of the mat or the rug because it will help cover the uh, knot if it's outside it will be visible and also if you need you can even hold the outer portion by the use of pins those beaded pins that you get you can use that to hold the outer portion while stitching now these are the loose portions that i'm pulling out by my hand 
so you know exactly you do not have to insert the needle from the outer side otherwise the knot will be visible on the outside what you have to do is you have to insert the needle on the inner circle and bring it towards the outer circle in that way your circles will get stitched together at the same time the knot also will be hidden so here once i pull the needle through can you see it's getting tougher as you pass by the circles let's finish this and there it's done now from here to here i'll leave a gap and i'll insert my needle so in this way i form a clear outer stitch the normal stitch that you'll do you all can just do that and then i am joining these many circles together in the stitch see and that's it this is how your rug will be stitched on the full circle that you have and once this is done your rug will be ready so this is how i have taken the stitch and i'll complete it all throughout this rug through the circle so once i am done with the stitching this is exactly how the rug looks the mat looks beautiful right so if you are new do not forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time bye